Hello and welcome back to Sarasi Plays Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke, where we last left off. We had been beating a bunch of monks to death in the middle of their holy temple. Just kidding, we were having Pokemon battles with the monks at the Sprout Tower. And we saw our rival Marco once again, and now that our team, and I will show you in a second, is fully prepared, we are ready to take on the first gym leader of Johto, and his name is Faulkner. Falconer, really. <laughs> hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. Believe me, if you believe, a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Well, with no any further ado, let's go! <laughs> Let me see if you are good enough to face Faulkner. Okay, I'll show you just how good I am, motherfucker. So the downside is that's one of the few flying types that actually knows a flying type move from the beginning. Holy shit, it's level 9? Jesus. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna rely on Stoner Bro to get us through this. I put teeth in front just so he can get the XP. Because he's going to need it, too. <laughs> Tackle it! Not bad. Not bad. So I'm worried that I was wrong and that the levels of this gym are actually a lot higher than I was expecting. We'll find out. We'll find out. What the pack? But um. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> this is such an eventful battle where we just wail on each other until the other's dead. <laughs> yes, there we go. Got you up to level 9. Oh, it sucks that your attack is so high and all your other stats are so low. <laughs> This can't be true! Oh, it is. This is pathetic, losing to some rookie trainer. Oh, you will, you'll find that I'm not actually a rookie in real life, buddy. We got this nice S pattern. The keyword is guts! Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Come on! Oh, okay. Bring it on, motherfucker. Bird Keeper Rod. Wow, that's not a metaphor. See, this one's only level 7. How come you're further in the gym? Yes. Stoner Bro can handle this. Oh wow, this Pidgey's pathetic. Sigh. <laughs> I keep thinking, maybe we'll have an eventful fight this time. No, we're still at the point of the game where it's just like, and I used a normal type move, and you used a normal type move, and I used a normal type move. Yeah, it's uh, it's not likely to change. And uh, our Ghastly isn't likely to be of much help in this fight, in this gym, because all of the flying types are also normal types. For some reason, the Game Freak developers could not comprehend of flying just being a standalone type. <laughs> oh, and you are now the highest level member of our party. Good job, Stoner Bro. Hmm. Kind of want to send someone else out just to get the XP. Yeah, let's do that. Jeez. You know, I'm probably not going to keep centered on the team in the long term. Oh, geez, that was a crit. Um, simply because centered is kind of garbage. I'm going to risk it. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh, thank God. Um, it would be ironic if he, if he died right when I was saying that I need to keep him on the team. Uh, because he would be fantastic to use all the HMs on. Um, because there's a bunch of HMs in this game. 
Faulkner's skills are for real. Don't get cocky just because you beat me. Well, Faulkner's next, but we need to heal up our team. Because we're in kind of rough shape right now. Okay, we're gonna just put stone of row in front and uh, hope for the best, I guess. Nah, we're not gonna do that. Um, let's start off with... Uh, Cinders is gonna be great for later on. Right now we just need... Flying types will resist your bug moves. Let's just put Ricky Ticky Tabby in front. And we can switch into stone of row when Centret's in trouble. <laughs> Sound fair? Because Rick Dick Tabby really, really needs the XP if we want them to, him to be viable at all. Okay. I'm Buckner, the violent Pokemon gym leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to burn Pokemon. I'll show you the real power. Of the magnificent bird Pokemon. I don't know why I did that voice for him. It was basically the same as the guy at the beginning of the gym, but I did it anyway. Suck it. Okay, you've got a Pidgey. Level 7 Pidgey. The leader of this gym has a weaker Pokemon than one of his underlings. <laughs> I don't even know what to call the people. Are they like trainers? Are they just like gym trainers or something? Instead of a gym leader? The gym minions, gym underlings, gym assistants. <laughs> they never really explain. Like, obviously they're supposed to be training there, right? That's the concepts. I don't know. Should survive even a crit. And you're good. Perfect. Very good. I wanted you to be able to split the XP for this one. And the Pidgeotto. It's a tier 2 Pokemon, and it is already evolved at a way lower level than it should possibly be able to. But as you will see, it's still a lower level overall than that Hoot Hoot we fought in the um, tower. Which is an odd design choice that the pre-gym dungeon would be. Oh shit, that's super effective. Good thing it's super weak. Oh, that decreases accuracy too. Oh, that's glorious. I didn't know this would know a ground move. This makes things more interesting. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Okay, one more round of this. Yeah, no, not, not gonna last another round in this bullshit. <laughs> Okay, um, you know you know Gust, you have low defense, fuck it, Cinders, you can take this. Wait, that was ground! Uh-oh. Okay, that wasn't terrible. And you're using, oh, it's stab, so it's actually better overall. And you're using your berry. Well done, Cinders. What a good Pokemon. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So close. So close. Okay. Um... Vlad, we're gonna try to confuse this guy. That's painful, but we're gonna try to confuse you. Oh shit. Well, thank god it worked. And 
and we're going to switch out to to Spoopy. This is actually surprisingly challenging for a gym. <laughs> this Pidgeotto was kicking my butt. Hurt yourself. Yes! Okay, that's game. I mean, I had potions and stuff, so it wasn't the end, but that could have gone badly. Darn! Darn! My dad's cherries bird Pokemon! Alright, take this! It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr Badge! And I got a shit ton of money! Good job! Must have received the Zephyr Badge! Zephyr Badge raises the attack power of Pokemon! It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it any time! Here, take this too! And I got the TM31, which does... By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can be used only once. TM31 contains Mud Slap. It reduces the enemy's accuracy while it causes damage. In other words, it is both defensive and offensive. Very good. Um, yeah, we were using that against us to frustratingly devastating effect. Let's see if anyone can learn Flash. Teeth can learn Flash. Um, but before I teach that to anyone, I'm going to check if um, Veritas can learn it. <laughs> how, how come Bellsprout can learn Flash? Hello, Sarasi. We discovered some thing about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? I think I think I used a different voice for Professor Elm, but I forgot what it was. I think I used I think I used the nerdy voice. I don't know, and then that was his assistant. I don't actually remember. Sarasi, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Oh yeah, sure. Oh no, you kept carrying the Pokemon with you. I'll wait here while you make room for the egg. So we're gonna be a mama. I'm gonna deposit someone. In fact, I have to deposit two people at this point. Um, Rick Dick Tavi. Don't care about you. And probably Vlad. I'm gonna take out Veritas temporarily. Might bring you back in though. Oh, come on. Okay. You can learn it. Perfect. So now we can get through that uh, building over there. Yay, I got the egg. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Sarasi, you're the only person we can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when that egg hatches. Oh, okay. I guess. Better heal everyone up, though. I forget if I did before talking to him, but whatever. I'm doing it now. <laughs> Okay, let's check this out. Uh, so we've got the egg. We can't. It moves around inside sometimes. It must be close to hatching. Oh, that's awesome. So we've got Veritas, two Spoopy, Cinders. Yeah, we've got everybody. The whole gang. So I'm not going to go forward yet. I'm going to go through Dark Cave. See what I can find there. Oh, a bitter berry. Interesting. I don't think we've got one of those yet. What does it do? Self cure for confusion. Oh, that's really useful, actually. Still, all these cut uh, bushes that are taunting me. <laughs> yeah, 
Yay! We're gonna have our grass Pokemon light up the place, I guess. Uh, actually, we should have you in front of the party. Because you're gonna need the XP more than anyone. <laughs> oh, jeez. Good thing I did it right then. <laughs> and a Geodude. Lovely. It looks like I have a dead Pokemon, but it's just the egg, I swear. <laughs> wow, the power differential is real. Oh yeah, level 9 versus level 2, what was I even thinking? <laughs> but that was enough to get you a level up. Good for you. Now, Veritas is one level away from actually learning an attack-based move. What a world. And I got a free potion. Not a bad deal. Oh. We need Rock Smash or Surf to get further in here. Never mind. Can't do anything in here. We can kill this Geodude, though. Okay, teeth, show them what's for. You're not my stoner bro. Hashtag not my stoner bro. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're going to be um, returning to our quest after that attempted excursion and failed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna heal up. Time to switch everyone out. I'm gonna deposit Veritas, because right now you're garbage. No offense, but it's true. Ah, uh, who do I want? Uh, uh, I'm not good at this decision. So this is a bug type move. Poison. You're just normal type, but you might be more useful. I think, hmm, I've got a poison type, so I got that covered. I like you because of the confusion. No offense, Rick Dick Tabby, you might come back on the team soon, but for now it's gonna it's gonna be Vlad. And Cinders is going to take care of the egg, because I want you to keep it nice and warm, buddy. <laughs> okay, now we can go out on our journey. <sighs> what is going to happen? I already talked to you before. Wait, 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 what route is this? What route is this? Route 36, we have not caught a Pokemon here. We will catch a new Pokemon now. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Spinarak. Spinarak. Uh, not terrible, I guess. Oh, this isn't this isn't a good setup. Um, I'm gonna need to switch you up, teeth. Sorry. Um, too spoopy. Yeah, too spoopy. You might paralyze it. Ha! You can't get poisoned. That was a good choice. Very good choice. 
Oh, I was worried. <laughs> A little bit worried there. for that Pokeball. You're paralyzed and you're low on health. This should work. Yes! Gotcha! Now, what to... If prey becomes ensnared in its nest of spun string, it waits motionlessly until it becomes dark. Spinarak! And your boy... Uh, uh, your name is Peter, after Spider-Man. <laughs> How could I not? Plus, you're not likely to make it in the cut for the team. You might, someday, you might be our savior. Who knows? But I don't think that's going to be the case. Well, hey, I was going to snap that tree with my straight-arm punch, but I couldn't. I'm a failure. Oh, sorry to hear that, buddy. I believe in you. Ruins of Alf. Hmm. Well... No, we can't go past there until we get an interesting item. Because that tree's not what it appears to be. Did you see that strange tree in the road? That may explain why fewer people are visiting the ruins of Alf. That must be a really important attraction. Wait, so you have like a tourist bureau here and guards to, for it, but you have... You let tourists walk around unguided and unguarded through these ancient ruins. But you haven't done any archaeological work here. Jesus. The authority on the ruins of Al. Well, let's talk to them. Exploration year 10. They've been here 10 years and they know like nothing about it? Okay, let's see what they know. They're about 1,500 years old. It's not known why they were built or by whom. Interesting. There are odd patterns drawn on the walls of the ruins. They must be keys for unraveling the mystery of the ruins. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna check this place out. Welcome to this chamber. There are sliding panels that depict a Pokémon drawn by the ancients. Slide the panels around to form a picture. To the right is a description of the Pokémon. Scientists in the back are examining some newly found patterns. Hmm. Recently, strange cryptic patterns have appeared. It's odd. Uh, they were here a little while ago. You should take a look at the walls. Okay. It says, escape. Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I escape. Hmm. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Let's see. Oh, there's another huge hole. It's big enough to go through. Oh, better let the tourists through. Oh, items. Those are good. Berry. That's always useful. Poison cure berry. So these berries have been in here for 1,500 years? Energy powder. And heal powder. Not terrible. Oh, shoot. There's a description. So this is in the language of the unknown. Let me read it for you. Our words shall remain here for the ages. That's useful. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Oh, look at the tourists. There's nothing here. <laughs> Sorry to hear it. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to talk to the other people before heading out of here. Ancient buildings are often tombs of kings, like the pyramids, for instance. Hmm. 
What are they implying? Okay, no one else is here. Let's head right back out. See what we can do. So they said there was this puzzle here. What does this description say? A Pokemon that hid on the sea floor. Eyes on its back scanned the area. Alright. Well, what I learned from these puzzles is to always do the corners first, because that'll help guide you through the rest of the journey. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's the right place. Seems to be correct. Oh, this seems to be working swimmingly. Get it? Because it's a water type. And it's also a rock type. That's Kabuto. Hmm. No, its uh, eyes are going to go the other way. They're going to be farther apart. Just with that weird appearance. I love it though. <laughs> nope, that's not right. Slightly different. That's really hard to tell though. But there we go, that's a Kabuto. What's my prize? It's a trap! <laughs> oh no! There's a strange presence here. What? What ever could be going on? I'm gonna put cinders in front, just in case. Uh oh, we're already running into things. What is it gonna be? Oh, unknown G, I think that is. Well, we're going to catch you, hopefully. <laughs> hidden power. Each unknown has only one move, and that's hidden power. And each Pokemon has a unique element tied and, and power tied to hidden power. So it's kind of totally random. And uh, I don't see unknown having much of a place in their party. But since this is an option, we're going to take it. Who knows, this might be our only way to beat the Elite Four or something. I don't know. Very cool. Because of different types of unknown exist, it is said that they must have a variety of abilities, just like I explained. <laughs> yes, I will give a nickname to him. a good name because it's unknown we don't know their name <laughs> isn't that cute i think it is uh let's switch to spoopy oh. switch to spoopy to the front of the line uh simply because ghost is super effective against psychic and that's the only reason <laughs> we shouldn't run into more than one or two more or no more. Okay, that works too. Oh, good for you. I think. <laughs> good for you, buddy. Uh, I can't go any further in the ruins until I get surf, unfortunately. Hmm, curious. Very curious. That's me, Route 32. We have not been to this route yet. And what does this say? Okay, so we're going to Azalea Town. Oh, Violet City was right up here, really? I didn't realize there was a southern entrance. 
Look at me, paying attention and shit. Yep, yep, that's totally accurate. Wow, look at me go. Well, it's good I went to the Ruins of Alpha in any case. Okay, so that's a trainer. We're not going to be able to catch anything else today. So I'm going to call it there, and we will resume our travel to the next gym on Sarasi's Great Adventure of Sarasi Plays Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke.